Hey folks, how y'all doing? Making a video on an update on my solar power system. These are two 1,000 watt high energy um, at 24 volts. So that's equal to 2,000 watts of wind power. And they are booming today. I've seen over close to 1,400 watts of power out of them today. And they're doing a heck of a job. These tires are, these masts are, um, to the tip of the blade are like 20 feet. And there's my Davis Vantage Pro 2 center suite that I just put up. Give you a little walk around. But yeah, man, it's an awesome day to make power. I've seen over 3,000 watts on my system a day. Um, at one time. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. 3,000 watts, 3 kilowatts at one time. And they're actually spinning. They're spinning so fast you can't. And this is Winter Storm Hercules, they call, they're calling it. Weather Channel is, anyway. But they're going to town. Nice power. But everything is getting some good sun. Wind's blowing, sun's shining, it don't get no better than this. I'm a happy guy. And it's 27 degrees out here. Wind chill is probably 16 or 17, what it said a little bit ago. I'll, I'll give you an update. Those panels are raised or set at 37 degree angle for the month of January. So is that solar pole mount. And those are at 53 degree tilt for all year round uh, use. I mean, to get the best for Virginia, 53 degree angle is about the best you can get for all year round without having to make any adjustments. But to get optimal, you know, you, you, it's good to change them each month, but I'm going to leave them like that until I decide what else I want to do. And, but yeah, we are making some power, y'all. Full sun, a lot of wind, and it's cold as you know what out here. But those are, uh, I took y'all's advice, uh, a lot of y'all, my YouTubers and subscribers, um, I got them locked down where the wind can't take them away. I'll show y'all how I did it. Alright, go around here, make it a little easier. That's my little small off grid panels, my little small solar array up there. 200 watts worth of solar panels. It's my 12 volt array. 12 volt, I mean, system right here. Alright, what's going on here? I'll show y'all how I did this. I got the heat and the other shop in my office over there going. Or my main room, whichever you want to call it. I uh, got that going. I got a little. Eating when I'm eating pure type heaters, electric. I figure if I'm making electricity, I'm gonna burn electricity. That's my motto. I mean, electric is probably your best um, fuel that you burn if you got it. But yeah, here are my solar panels. Tractor pin. Got me a tractor pin going through there. And uh, there it is. 
drill like a quarter inch hole. It goes through there and it blocks it in place. Later on, I'll probably take, take a piece of parachute cord or chain and go up to here and attach it. Or I can drop my pins out and lay them down if I need to. The same way as the other one, I've got a tractor pin or hitch pin. PTO hitch pin in there. That's what I did to lock them down. And it's going right through my wood and my aluminum. They're not going anywhere. But here they are again. There's one. And here's the other one. Over here. Yeah, so thank y'all for... Just I knew I wanted to do something, but I just wanted something quick, easy, quick attach. But yeah, it works out great. So yeah, making plenty of power. Got the heat going on in the solar shop. Let me turn some lights on. I hope this camera don't get all fogged up. Let me see here. Yeah, I got the heat rolling in here today. Have some lights on here. Right now, we're putting on a thousand seventy-two watts. And the wind's not even hadn't even kicked up yet. But right now we're making five point eight amps on Morningstar Pro Star 5.8 on those two small panels up there that got the hitch pin in them making a thousand one hundred twenty watts on my 1610 array 1610 watt array on my flat 30 grain array Excuse me, um, yeah, I guess my, much more or less like a 70 degree angle, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, 450 watts, we're making out of those. And the batteries are happy, they're nice and full. Uh, but yeah, we are kicking out the power today. And that meter is just a Sorry about that. That meter just is spinning. I'm at 3,391 watts. I believe it is. It's kicking, but here's some wind. While we're talking. That's a nine mile hour wind. Winter Storm Her Hercules. I don't remember when they recall when they started naming Winter Storm, but that's all right. Gives them something to do, something to talk about. Um, here are the conditions today. Oh, I was off, y'all. Uh, oh, sorry, amps. Can't miss those. Making some good power today. All around good power. Um, wind chill is 20 degrees. Last gust was 17 mile an hour. 27.9 outside. 59.4 in here. Um, and that's conditions for right now. And I think our top speed today it's the average wind speed, so we're getting good power on the wind turbines, good, vol good voltage. Twenty-six mile an hour wind at eleven thirty-nine a.m. Uh, that's our max speed today. So yeah, I'm happy. Uh, this, I'm gonna show you what we. This is what we're doing right now on the power. show you what we've made um we brought in 5,040 kilowatts right now so far in all right that's wind and solar and everything 
and it's only it's 12 30 in the afternoon and this is January the 3rd all right if you go back it says 4.4 kilowatt hours that's just measuring solar right now but if you get like I said 4.4 4 or 4400 watt hours well wind and solar burn 5,000 and 60 watt hours man uh, let me show you something else here too let's make tell you everything uh, shunts shunt B we made a thousand two hundred ninety watts out of the wind. That's peak watts. That's our, our highest we made a day for wind. You know, that's probably about 20, 26 mile an hour wind. With two high energy uh, 20, at twenty one thousand watt at twenty four volts. That's it. Seeing what that done is doing. But if I go back next at C, I don't have nothing no, nothing hooked to my shunt C. Shot A, 100, 109.3 amps, 3,080 watts. I mean, we're just booming today. We're kicking booty. All right. And I'm going to take you to my graph. All right. Let's get back. Graph. Alright, I've got to see that. State of charge, 100%. Alright. And it's showing 1.7. 1.7 uh, kilowatts. And it shows that 1900. Yep, 1900 peak today on the solar. Or power. Um you know what we made today it's, you know we actually made 3,000 but that was just like for a brief moment it's, it, it needs to be a steady steady power for it to really data log all that if you know what I'm saying alright next we'll best shot A it's the solar and wind combined and this is just wind look at that and that's just gets telling you what it's been doing that's pretty cool. I like that. Simple, not a simple. I mean, just good data logging. Right there to your left. Um, it says watts. Zero watts right now. But it show when the wind picks back up. It will show you what it's doing. All right, now we're getting a 10 mile an hour wind. This Outback Mate Three is um, the bomb. All right, just give it a second. Sorry, but that's got my fans in here running. I got the heat running with the the, the propane heater running with the uh, fan running. All right, we're getting ready to get some watts here, and then I feel. It. There we go. See that? 80 watts, 60 watts, 40 watts, 10, 40, 11 mile an hour wind, 100 watts. That is pretty cool, y'all. And this shows a little bit of everything on your wind and your solar. And if I go back next, let's go to state of charge. Let's go to Sean A. Well, right now it's saying 1.7 kilowatts. All right, let's go back to Shunt B. 2.2. Look at that. Yeah, that's wind and solar, y'all. <laughs> that's pretty neat, isn't it? I actually got something cool on camera. On video, excuse me. But, yeah, that's that's pretty t tough. But, good old cold day in January, making some power, y'all. Alright, just want to give you a little update. What's going on with the system. Oh, let me go back. Making more power. 1.8 making free two amps okay just went back down I get a big old gust wind here 
but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, y'all. But anyway, y'all got to see that. I can probably sit here all day, and that's one reason I got the, that mate free to help my dad log stuff. My, my watt, my peaks, my input kilowatt hours that I got in here with my Outback GTFX 2524. It's a, oh, it's, uh, I love it. And the battery bank is doing great. Superb. I can't complain. My diverge control loaders, a Morningstar charge controller. Um, it's right at 5.9 or uh, yeah 5.9 right now that'll probably hit 6 I might end up getting an MPPT charge control later on for that I don't know what we'll just have to see think about going with the midnight solar just to test out I like, I like the morning star I'll get it wrong I might either get a morning star a sun tracker or either get a uh, that new kid they came out with just to test it out, see what's going on. Alright. Okay, let's go. Anyway, I'm going to cut this a little short. I know it's been 16 minutes. I like giving you all updates. See what's going on with the system. And everything is up to par. Can't complain a bit. Might go hunting this evening. It's going to be cold. Uh, hold up, y'all. got My nose is running. It's cold. But anyway, I just want to give y'all an update. Let me see if I get them solar panels on the background. Oop, wrong way. There we go. Oh, yeah. Got to have them in the background. There you go. Well, anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. This is uh, Kenneth W. Vire Jr. Or Virelocity or KVUSMC. Um, just don't call me late for dinner. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one, y'all. Please subscribe. All right. Bye-bye.